hello people so in today's video I'm going to show you one little thing that you can add to improve your feed placement with control rig um, here I've got a project uh, from Epic which is a free one which is called Echo Windwalker and when I was checking it like uh, it has a standard IK placement where you trace the food and you adjust the pelvis accordingly if one leg is higher or lower and then feed it to full body IK so it all works well if a slope is not that steep for example like this so she stands the feet uh, it adapt and uh, all everything works but if this uh, slope is a little bit steeper like so you might notice that feet look a little weird like kind of it's a little unnatural position in here because you would probably wouldn't be able to pull it off if you were walking up the hill so there is one little thing like small setups that you can do to improve it and I'm gonna show it to you now so basically I modified an existing control rig for echo and here's what I've added first step I've just added a few extra controls uh, one of them is placed at the ball of the leg so if I display the bones uh, it's placed here and another one a child of weight is placed at the ankle and we also have an offset to constrain it because we will need to fit a rotation here but the idea behind it is very simple basically uh, when the ankle is rotated at some angle like here we are going to feed the rotation to this control which in turn will rotate each child the angle control so the first step we constrain parent, parent constraint node we constrain the offset and second step we create a spherical post reader one of my favorite nodes we created and this one will track our IK food L bone, which we modif which was modified previously, with a trace and adjusting to the ground. So we are basically checking where the y-axis of this bone is looking. And as soon as it looks way up and reaches this the area of influence of this with is this node, we do the following: we feed some rotation, which is in my case 45 degrees this control so as you can see we have that two from earlier nodes one is like zero rotation and one 45 rotation in local mode and our uh, pose reader will feed the interpolate alpha to interpolate between these two so next step we feed the rotation to the tarsal control and last one if we have a hit with our earlier trace and if we are rotating this control we need to aim our uh, ball joint so that's what we do here uh, so as soon as we reach this extreme pose in here um, let me disconnect to show you before and after as soon as we reach this pose where the angle is like rotated quite a lot uh, we will rotate this control and then the, the value of position of this control which is basically like our lifted heel will be fed instead of the bone it will be fed into our full body IK um, node so let's do it basically I've copied the old setup where the IK foot L was the source of the transform and now I added our new modified control to which we pass the rotation and the same pose uh, post reader node is acting as an interpolation alpha for these two so we connect this one in here and we connect the setup and we actually can preview the result in here so we see that our ball joint is aimed and our heel is lifted let's preview in the level and here it is uh, by changing the values of your uh, post reader you can define like at which angle of rotation your setup will start to work so if you compare in here two legs you can definitely see that uh, I may go down a bit and go up again so one leg doesn't have the setup like her right leg and left leg has it which to me looks a little bit more natural so yep yeah. 
if you like it, use it. Thank you.